Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Um, of course, as soon as I sit down to film this video, my neighbors decide to mow their yard. So if you hear lawnmowers or anything like that, that's what's going on. Um, so many of you have asked for this video. Um, and I decided to finally sit down and do it. <laughs> um, I was planning on doing like a spring Harry Potter uh, Bath and Body Works candle video, um, but a lot of people have requested um, specifically the Weasley family. So that's what this video is. Um, I have went to Bath and Body Works. I have smelled a bunch of candles. I'm trying not to buy more candles, so I didn't buy any, but I have my laptop here with my list of what I think each Weasley member would be. Um, so this is Arthur, Molly, and all of their kids. I did not do spouses. Um, most of their spouses, I believe, are in other Harry Potter videos that I have. Um, so check those different ones out. Um, but yeah, let's get started. Um, and I will add a photo of the candle here. I picked all of these out um, that come in one wicks. I know a lot of people have wanted um, the one wick candles because they are cheaper and pretty much all the time online you can get them to uh, two for 20 or regularly 14.50. Um, all of these are also available online and they were available in my store um, so I'm not sure if they'll be available in yours but they were all available online and they are more spring summer scents. Um, so I don't know if they will be available in fall and winter. Start with Arthur. Um, so he is kindness slash vanilla bean. Um, but the notes for that are Madagascar vanilla bean, homemade marshmallow, and fresh steamed milk. I feel like Arthur would smell like cozy baked goods. Um, Maybe he would have like a little bit of an espresso or tea vibe going on, um, but I really feel like he would be like a vanilla-y smell. Um, I, I don't, I don't know why that is, but I feel like he would be. Um, he would probably spend some time, you know, um, tinkering on different things, muggle things, and um, go in the kitchen and just enjoy um, some vanilla ice cream or a vanilla cake that Molly had just whipped up with her wand. Um, and I, I just feel like he is like a vanilla guy. Um, so that's Arthur. Next I have Molly, um, which she is white gardenia, um, which the notes are Classic white gardenia, sweet apple water, bamboo, and white woods. I, when I smelled this scent, I thought of Molly um, because it's it's like a fresh spring floral scent, um, and I could just like envision her being out in the garden, picking some flowers and bringing them in in her house. You know, the burrow just smelling um, like this happy gardenia smell. Um, Next, I have their oldest son, Bill, um, and I think he is a bow ties and bourbon. Um, this is a fragrance that I know was around um, more in the winter, but they do have it out in the spring for some reason. So if you don't get it now, you should be able to get it in the winter also. Um, bow ties of, and bourbon are hint of bourbon, fresh bergamot, and a splash of citrus. Um, I just feel like he is like, the more masculine -y scent um and i felt like bow ties and bourbon suited that well um yeah i just feel like he is more um more of like the naturalist type of a person um that he's more rugged um you know they live in their little cottage by the sea and i just felt like that would suit him um Next, I feel like Charlie, um, which I think it's in injustice that he is not in the movies um, because Charlie would be awesome. Um, but 
this is one that's kind of off the wall a little bit. I feel like he's fresh cut lilacs, um, which the notes are lilac bouquets, dewy green, soft spring air. And I don't, I just feel like he, because he's out with the dragons all the time and I feel like he's just like a gentle dragon tamer. <laughs> like I feel like he's got like this gentleness about him. Um, and I feel like he would smell like flowers and um, just like a happy smell. Uh, and so that's why I feel like he would smell like fresh cut lilacs. The soft spring air um, is just something that I feel like he would embody. Uh, next we have Percy, which I know a lot of people have opinions on Percy. And I think that he was vital to the story of you can leave your family and do crappy, stupid things um, because he wanted to advance himself. Um, but in the end, you come back and you fight with your family. Um, so it's a fitting name, actually. Um, this is Better Together, um, which is eucalyptus rain. Um, it's aromatic eucalyptus, spearmint leaves, fresh spring rain. Um, I didn't pick this out for the name, but subsequently enough, that's the name. Um, and I just feel like he would have like more of like the um, essential oils. Um, I don't know why I feel that, um, but I feel like the fresh spring rain, um, he's more of like a book guy and I burn eucalyptus rain when like I want to be more of a hermit. <laughs> like I, I burn it when I'm like, I'm like, oh my gosh, I'm really tired and I just want to chill and read a book. Um, that is when I burn eucalyptus rain the most. And so I just feel like that's Percy. Like, I feel like he is the intellect that just wants to chill, read a book, um, yeah, <laughs> so that is Percy. Next we have Fred, um, and then after that it'll be George. Um, but Fred I have being Fiji White Sands, um, which the notes are fresh cut sugarcane, white nectarine, sandalwood. Um, I'll talk about George and him together. So George's is suntan, which is sun-kissed citrus, orange blossom, and coconut husk. Um, both of these are very much summer scents. They are summer fragrances. I feel like they go hand in hand. Um, but George's is more of like the citrusy, bubbly type of fragrance. Um, whereas Fred's is more of the like earthy type fragrance. Um, so yeah, Fred is Fiji White Sands and George is Suntan. Um, next I have good old Ronald. Um, Ron is one of my favorite Weasleys. <laughs> um, I think it's just because when I was a child I had a crush on Ron, <laughs> but I, I love all the Weasleys, but I really, I don't know, I just feel for Ron. Um, but he is Ocean Driftwood, which is beachside oak, sea washed mahogany, and ocean lavender. Again, this is like a man scent. Um, I've said it in my other videos where I've had Ron in, is I just feel like he is like a burly man fragrance. Um, I don't know why, but I do. And I just love the idea of him having mahogany in his fragrance, but also having like his softer side of the lavender. Um, so that's why I have Ron as being the ocean driftwood. And then next we have Ginny. Um, I love Ginny. For spring and summer fragrance, Ginny is Rosewater and Ivy. Um, I've said it before is I feel like she has the fragrance that she would be is more of a um, feminine fragrance. Um, you know, she's more of the tomboy type, but I also feel like she would have um, like a feminine side to her um, with having um, those type of fragrances be what she smells like. Um, so Rosewater and Ivy is Soft Rose Petal, Rain Kissed Ivy, and Spring Musk. Um, so it's got the like feminine um, aspect of her, but also like it's not like overpowering. 
um and it's not overpoweringly like perfumey or citrusy um I really like rose water and ivy and so I felt like that was very her um so yeah that's my um spring Weasley um Harry Potter Bath and Body Works candle video. <laughs> um, I have others of these. Go check them out on my channel. Um, they are like my top watched videos, which is amazing. Um, and let me know if you want to see any other um, Harry Potter characters um, and videos like this. Um, or if you want to see like maybe an Avengers series or a Hunger Games series. Um, because I would be interested in doing those if you guys have interest in them. Um, so yeah, I will see you guys soon. Peace.